Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to airbrush candy green flames. Hi everybody, welcome back to another airbrush video. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing some candy green flames. So I'll talk you through the beginning steps and the things you're going to need to do this effect you're going to need to start out on some black card or paper or if you've got an aluminium composite panel which is sprayed black previous you can use that or on any other piece that you're going to be working on like a tank a bonnet a fender so i'll talk you through and i'll do you a full demonstration on how i do candy green flames in the blue flame video i went through water base I'm going to take you through the candy green flames in solvent base. So we're going to do it in solvent today. I've got the candy green by specialist paints. This is a two to one mix. This is a concentrate candy. So you mix that with a de thinner and for the white base on the flames, I'm using a Ford frozen white. I've got a little bit thin down with some thinner in that. So they're the two colors we're going to go and use today on this black panel. I've got two airbrushes set up. You can do this with one airbrush, but if you've got another airbrush handy, it's good to have two set up so you can put white in one and then your candy green or whatever color candy you're doing in the other brush and you're not having to clean your brush through and keep changing between the two because you're bouncing across green and white in this tutorial quite a bit, bouncing across. The next things that you're gonna need is some shields. You can get the fire stencil shields that you can hold. I've got a couple of bits from previous fire stencils that have been chopped down over the years. So what I've done is I've got some silicone paper and I've just cut some random shapes, nice and easy. And you can use these as well guys for doing the flame technique. So I'll get the airline set up, drop some paint in and I'll see you in the next step. Right, so we've got the white set up in this airbrush. I'm using the Creos PS270. This is 0.2. So I've got the white base set up in this and I'm running about 20, 23 PSI in this. And the way I'll start the flames is basically if you watch the blue candy flames, it'll be the similar way that I go in. I go in random with some dagger strokes for a start and we'll just work up a pattern. like this so that's where i'll start off nice and simple just some dagger strokes going up and that would be my first pass the next thing is to get some shields and look at the shapes that you've got here use your shields and you can just bounce across from that shield and start to just make these shapes nice and simple. Just fill the little pockets in, go in nice and light, just dusting in. and making some shapes like that. And just do the pattern random, as random as you can get it.
So you just work in a pattern. Like so, nice and simple. Keep working round, making the shapes. So I've got it nice and light. Just work round with the shields like that until you get your pattern that you're after. And I'm going to go with that for the first pass. And you'll tend to find if you're working with solvent, it always runs smoother dries quicker water base we can do the effect with water base as you're seeing in the candy blue one we managed to do the flames in water base it's not a problem just take you a little bit longer give yourself more drying time in between your coats if you're working with solvent, you'll know it's a lot quicker and a lot less tip dry with solvent as well. Just gives you that little bit more working time, I think. So that's the first pass on the white. Just basically doing a random pattern going up with the white, using the shields, holding it, spraying off, getting the shapes like that, moving round off them first lines that we went in. So now we're going to jump onto the candy green and we're just going to do some light passes. With the candy green. And these layers will really need building up because this is a, a very thin Candy. You'll just see it's giving a little bit of colour. But this will build up as we go along. Just go nice and light, just over where you've been.
it's on top of the white. Like that. So that would be the first pass of green. And then you can go back in with your white. The bit of noise, I've just dropped the extractor on. As it's solvent, I want to clear it in here as quick as I can. So we're dropping back onto the white and we're just going to go in and highlight and bring back that white on these flames. And just pop these out again. Like that. Give us some nice sharp edges. And you're just creating them pockets of shapes. Bringing that white back out and just bringing them colours out. go back in with the green and we'll real start to darken this up now.
and that's the nice thing about candies you can just keep working it and the more you put down the darker the more intense that colour will get Keep working this green in. And just jumping back onto the white again. Dry that off a bit. And now we're just going to pop the highlights out on the white. Popping them little top bits off like that, and then coming off them shields.
working round, shortening them bits up and just fogging it off. Like that. We'll do some little embers coming down. Like that, we'll drop back onto the green now. Another pass of green. Just on some of these little embers. going around dropping some more candy green in giving it a bit more depth like that just blow a bit of air over that clear that and then we'll do a final pass of white just pop some of them highlights out again sharpen some little bits up like that the members out And there you go guys, that's 
the green candy flames down nice and simple go guys that's the candy green flames nice and easy you see me at the beginning I went in with some full frozen white and that's a solvent base we thin that down and I just basically worked in you see me do some squiggly lines going up following the pattern going up went in with some lines like that round and then we went in with the shields just two pieces of paper cut with some random shapes on and you would hold it from that line coming across you'd hold it like that and you'd spray that way you'd get a piece there and you'd spray down that way that way go across that way you'd hold a shield there and spray that direction you'd fill that line between there and there and you would fill in there and I just went round dusted in with white and filled the little pockets in, continuing the flow of it going up. If this was on a bigger panel, I would then break off pieces and break off. So you go from a dense start, and then as it's going up, start breaking off with the shapes and weird patterns and just start breaking off on that pattern going up. So we've gone round, we've dropped all the white in, and then we went in with the first pass with the candy green, which is by Specialist Paints. That's a two to one mix with a D thinner and then just dust over and just start putting a bit of colour in on them pieces. First pass, then went back in with the white with your shield again, following them and just dropping a bit of white in like that, bit across that way. Moved in round here, drop a piece in there and you're just basically filling them little pockets in and just building the colours up and building the colours up. If this was clear coated now, the candy would really pop. If you're doing it on an actual metal panel, candies look totally different. When they look flat like this, in that very dull state, it doesn't show the true effect of the candy. It's only until you clear coat it, then it shows you that depth in the paint and that would really come alive then and really pop off the panel. But that's just basically a matte finish on this. So nice and simple to do. We drop the embers in and they were just dots and a little pull down to give you that little faded effect off the dot. Little embers going up, dropped a little bit of candy green over and then popped a bit more white over to pop them out. So that's the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it and learned something along the way on these two fire videos that I've done. Nice and simple, we use the Creos PS270 and I've used the Creos PS771 for the candy. So it's nice to have two brushes, you can put your white in, you can put your candy green in, and then you can have a go at that guy. So thanks for watching. Don't forget if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, so you don't miss out on any more up and coming videos on DreadFX Custom Paint. Big warm welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for all the comments. It's much appreciated. I get back to you straight away on the comments. Yeah, and I'll see you lot in the next one. Thanks for watching.